I think there are two forms of the interest of the church to, to be concerned about climate change. Uh, the first one is the, the gospel, the Bible. In the Bible, uh, God say that the man is the vicar of God in the creation and need to conserve, respect, and develop the creation in the good sense, that is to say, uh, according with the possibilities to have the nature. And this is the, the font for the Catholics, uh, for the old people, uh, for the hierarchy, and also for the poor. We, we, we are aware that we have a responsibility with nature, with the, because it's, it's part of the creation of God. But we have another fund that is science. And science today say that the, the problem of the climate, that we say climate change, is the biggest problem that we have. Today, the scientific people convincing all the fields and convincing the economists and try to convince it, the economists try to convince it, the, the leaders of politics, political leaders. And of course, try also to convince the Pope. <laughs> the Pope is very concerned about. But of course, he needs to put together these two funds, that is to say, the ideas of the truth that come from sciences and the gospel. The, the statement of the Pontifical Academy, that is to say both Pontifical Academy, the Academy of Sciences and the Academy of Social Sciences, we have a meeting together. And the statement says that there are three more important points that we need to put together. One is the problem of cl climate change. The other is the question of the sustainable develop, develop sustainable. That is to use the resource of the of the land in a in a rational form, not to destroy the nature, but in the contrary to develop the nature. And the other is the social inclusion. But all are in connection, and especially the climate is in connection of the poor people, because the consequence of the climate change are especially for the poor people that don't have mate fuel material and don't have the advantage of the consequence to have all these things that we can have with oil and, 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 uh, and carbon. The question is the energy and the use of energy. If we want to have energy that comes from this material, fossil, that we say, that is especially oil and, and carbon, uh, but we can have another energy that is very easy, the sun, that is the energy of all. <laughs> of course, we need a progression. It's important to not change all in, in one moment, but <laughs> anyway, we need to understand that we need a new form of energy. The church could be one of the more important factors to change and to use this uh, new form of energy. In fact, in the Vatican, as maybe you know, we change all and, uh, and we want to change more. We find many texts of Paul VI to explain that we have a sort of charity with the nature. And, uh, and to respect and to develop a nature in the line of his possibilities. But also, you know, that many people call Pope Benedict the Green Pope because he speaks many times about this concern. And Pope Francis take the name of Francis just for this. Uh, the central question of the faith is the charity. The charity with... Uh, in relation with God and in, in relation of our neighbors. And uh, the neighbors suffer 
for the climate change. And uh, this is the more important reason, we can say, for a reason of charity and a reason of justice. We need to have a sort of charity with the future generations, that we say solidarity of the future generation. As Francis of Assis, we need also to have a sort of charity with all the living beings and all the nature that is the habitat that God gives to us.